Step one, wake up early, gon' rise with the sun. Step two, get some good, some food in you. Step three, think real hard about what you wanna be. Step four, fuck everybody, just do your thing. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. 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 Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day Wake up Today's gonna be a Hello everyone, welcome to my channel So today we are going to crochet these very cute little uh, baby boats So get your materials ready, they are listed at the beginning of the video And let's get started So we are going to start by doing a chain 10 so we're going to do chain one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And then starting in the second chain from the hook. So we're going to skip here and start here. We are going to make two half double crochet in the same stitch. So we're going to do half double crochet. one and then we'll do another half double crochet in the same stitch like that okay and then in the um we are going to do seven half double crochets so in the next seven stitches we are going to do half double crochets so we'll do half double crochet one two three and continue until you have seven half double crochets okay so after you have seven half double crochets now in the last chain over here we're going to make five half double crochets so we'll do half double crochet one two three four and five okay so five half double crochet now in that we're going to start working on the other side so we are going to make seven half double crochets so we'll do half double crochet in the next seven chains so we'll do half double crochet one two three and we'll continue until we have seven half double crochets okay so after we've made seven half double crochets now in the last chain over here we're going to make three half double crochets so we're going to make half double crochet one two and three half double crochets all in the same chain okay and then we are going to join over here with a slip stitch so we're just going to come on top here and do a slip stitch like that okay so now I'm just going to place my marker over here after I've done this slip stitch and in the second round we are going to start by doing a chain one and then starting here we are going to make two half double crochets in the next two chains so make half double crochet one and another half double crochet in the same stitch 
and i'll also do two half double crochets in the next stitch so i'll do half double crochet and another half double crochet in the same stitch okay and then after that i'll do seven half double crochets so in the next seven stitches we'll do half double crochet so half double crochet one two three and continue until you have seven half double crochets okay so after we have seven half double crochet in the next five stitches we are going to do two half double crochet in each stitch so we'll do two half double crochet in the first chain and then two half double crochet in the second stitch then two half double crochet in the third stitch two half double crochet in the fourth stitch and two half double crochet in the last stitch okay so like that and then after that we'll make um half double crochet in the next seven stitches so we'll do half double crochet one two three and continue until you have seven half double crochets okay so after we we'll, we've had seven half double crochets now uh in the last three stitches we are going to do two half double crochets in each stitch so we're going to do two half double crochet Okay, and then to half double crochet in the next stitch and to half double crochets in the other stitch okay and then now here we are going to join with a slip stitch like that Okay, so now in the third round, we are going to start with a chain one. Then I'll just place my marker over here. Okay, so now we are going to do um, two half double crochet in the next stitch, then half double crochet in the next, and then we repeat that again one time. So we'll do in the next stitch, we'll do two half double crochets. And then one double crochet in the next and then repeat that again so two half double crochets and one half double crochet in the next okay and then we'll do half double crochet in the next seven stitches so half double crochet one two three four and continue until you have seven half double crochets okay so after we've had seven half double crochet now in the next we're going to do two half double crochet then see uh, half double crochet in the next and we are going to do that five times 
okay so for the first time we're going to do uh two half double crochet and then half double crochet in the next so that's one time and then two half double crochet in the next one half double crochet that's two time two half double crochet one half double crochet three times two half double crochet and then one half double crochet four times and then two half double crochets and half double crochet so five times okay and then after that we're going to do half double crochets in the next seven stitches so half double crochet one two and continue until you have seven half double crochets okay so after we have seven half double crochets now we're going to do two half double crochet then one half double crochet and we're going to repeat that three times okay so we're going to do two half double crochet And then one half of double crochet that's one time and then again two half double crochets and then one half double crochet and the last time two half double crochets and one half double crochet and we're going to join here with a slip stitch like that okay so after we're done making the slip stitch now we're going to start making the upper part of the uh, little shoe so now uh, for the next round for the first round of the upper part we're going to work half double crochet in the back loops only so in this loop over here we are going to do half double crochet so in the back loop half double crochet okay in the next back loop we are also going to do half double crochet and half double crochet in the back loop of the next and we're going to do half double crochet in the back loop only all the way until we get here where we started Okay, so after we've done doing the half double crochets, we are going to join here with a slip stitch like that. Okay, so now we are going to start with round two. And in round two, we are going to do single crochets all the way round until the end. Okay. So we are going to start and do single crochet, single crochet, okay, and we are going to do single crochets all the way until the end. So we are going to have a total of 44 stitches.
okay so after we are done doing single crochets we are going to join with a slip stitch over here it's a little bit tight like that okay so now in the third round we are going to start by doing single crochet in the next 11 stitches so we'll do single crochet one two three four five and continue until you have 11 single crochets okay so after we've had 11 single crochets now we are going to start by doing half double crochet two together and then half double crochet in the next two stitches and then we'll do that five times okay so let's do it together so we're going to do half double crochet two stitches together like that then pull through all loops together and then half double crochet in the next two stitches so that's one time and then repeat that again So that's two times. Repeat again. Three times. And then repeat the fourth time. the fifth time like that okay and then in the next uh, in the next stitch we are going to do half double crochet two together Okay, and then in the remaining 11 stitches, we are going to do single crochets all the way to the end. So continue doing single crochet. And all the way to the end. Okay, so after we are done doing the 11 single crochets, we are going to come here and join with a slip stitch. Okay. Then I'll just place my marker over here. Okay, so we're going to start by doing single crochet in the same stitch that we slip stitched. So I'll just do a single crochet over here. And then I'll continue doing a single crochet in the next 10 stitches. So do single crochet one, two, three and continue until you have 10 single crochets okay so after we are done with the uh, 11 single crochets we are going to do half double crochet so we'll do half double crochet here and then okay then we'll after we've done the half double crochet one we'll do half double crochet two together so like that and then we'll do double crochet two together and we'll repeat that four times okay so we'll do the same way as half double crochet two together but this one we are going to 
uh, remove uh, the sorry we're going to remove two times so remove three loops and then the last two loops so that's double crochet one two together and then we repeat that again so double crochet two together another time So two and then repeat again three and one more time and four. Okay, and then we'll do again half double crochet two together. So half double crochet, two together, like that. Okay, and then we'll do half double crochet in the next one stitch, half double crochet. And we'll continue to do single crochet in the remaining 12 stitches. So we'll continue to do single crochet all the way until you get to the end. Okay, so after we're done doing the 12 single crochets, we're going to join here with a slip stitch. Okay, then remove my marker. So now in the fifth round, which is the last round uh, of the upper part, we're going to start by doing a chain one. And then we'll do a single crochet in the next 11 stitches. So we'll do single crochet. One, two, three, four, and continue until you have 11 single crochets okay so after that after we're done with the 11 single crochets we are going to do half double crochet in the next stitch so we'll do half double crochet and then we'll do half double crochet two together And then we'll do double crochet two together four times okay so double crochet two together one and we'll repeat that again three more times two Okay, so two and one more time, last time. Three. Okay, so after we're done doing the double crochet two together three times, now we are going to do half double crochet two together. So half double crochet two together. Like that. And then we'll do single crochet in the next 11 stitches. So one, two, three, and continue doing single crochets all the way to the end. Okay, so after we're done, we're just going to join here with a slip stitch. and cut off the yarn like that and this is how the little shoe looks like as you can see so cute okay so you can finish up this one by pulling this yarn on the inside part like 
like that. Okay, and finish off. So now we are going to make the little flower over here using the white yarn. Okay, so we're going to start by doing a chain 64. So I already did that, as you can see, to make our little flower. And then we're going to uh, start in the fourth chain from the hook. So we're going to count one, two, three, four. And in the fourth chain from the hook, we are going to do a double crochet. Okay, and then after we do a double crochet, we are going to skip two stitches. So one, two, and then we are going to double crochet in the next stitch. So one, two, and double crochet here. Like that then we're going to do a chain two and then we'll double crochet into the same stitch here again like that okay and then again we are going to skip the next two stitches and we'll double crochet in the next so one two then double crochet here one two and then we'll do a chain two one two and then double crochet here again in the same stitch that's it so you can see we are forming the V Stitch. and then again we'll skip two stitches then double crochet so one two double crochet here and then chain two one two and double crochet in the same stitch okay so as you realize we are using a single yarn here so that the uh, the flower is not too bulky and I'm also using a 1.5 millimeters crochet hook okay so we'll continue to form the V stitches the same way all the way until we get to the end okay so after we're done doing V stitches this is how it looks like so we're going to do a chain three one two three and turn Okay, so this will count as our first double crochet okay so after we're done with that in the first V stitch here at the very end we're going to do one double crochet like that and then um, we're going to do a chain two so one two and then again in the same V stitch we are going to do two double crochets so we'll do double crochet one and another double crochet like that okay so now we are going to go into the next V stitch and we are going to repeat and do two double crochets so two double crochets And then chain two and then again in the same stitch V stitch we are going to do other two double crochets okay repeat that again in the next V stitch so we are going to do two double crochets And chain two and again other two double crochets okay so we'll keep repeating that in every V stitch all the way to the end
okay so after we get to the end we are going to do a chain one two and then turn okay so that counts as the first half double crochet okay so now in the first here the first stitch uh we're going to do here in the first v stitch we are going to do six uh, half double crochets so you can see we have here we have two double crochet and then the center over here so we're going to do six half double crochets so one two three four five and six okay and then after we are done with that now in the here in the next uh two chain that we did here we are going to do a single crochet so single crochet okay and then we are going to repeat again here so in the next uh, V chain, the big V chain, you can see over here, we are going to do seven half double crochets. So half double crochet, one, two, three, four, five six seven okay and then we are going to do single crochet in the two chain space so single crochet and then now again here in the big uh, v chain we are going to do seven half double crochets so one two three four five six and seven and then in the two chain space over here we are going to do single crochet so we are going to repeat that all the way until we get to the end okay so after we are done this is how it looks like so i'm just going to go here into the next chain slip stitch and cut off the yarn like that okay so now we're going to make the little flower and uh, attach it to our shoe so we're just going to fold it like that round so it depends with how tight you want it to be so just fold it like that so you can adjust it to your liking as you can see and then uh, using a needle and yarn we're just going to uh, sew it over here and around here and then we are going to attach it to our little shoe here so you can use the fabric glue or you can just sew it as you can see this is the way the other one looks so cute okay and then when we are done we'll do the little finishing so let's sew it okay so guys as you can see we've already attached the flowers and this is how it looks like our little shoes okay so guys i hope you enjoyed this pattern if you haven't subscribed to my uh, channel please subscribe and if you have any questions you can ask in the comments below until next time bye